This is the five ways of classifying programming languages. Three, strong typing versus weak or dynamic typing. Basically, with strong typing, you have to tell the programming language what kind of variables you're gonna use. For example, if you're gonna create a variable that is a number, that is five, then you have to tell the, the programming language Okay, this is gonna be an integer, it's gonna be a number, it's gonna be five, okay? And then therefore you have to put int equals to five. On the other hand, in the weak ones, you can put the name of the variable you want, for example, a equals to five, and the programming language will guess or will kind of try to assume that that's gonna be a number, you know? Because a string would be with parentheses. In the strong typing languages, it's way, way harder to convert between type of variables. For example, if you got a string in C and you have to pass it to convert it, a string of numbers, for example, one, two, three, four, five, into a string, and you have to convert that into a number, it's way, way more difficult than in Python. In Python, with a simple line of code, you can do it. In C, you will need to create a function that converts its position of its number into a, you have to multiply by 10, by 100, by one, by units, etc. So it's way, way more nasty to do.